Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the media player in Android Studio. And first things first, we're going to import a few images and a few MP3s. And we want the images because looks are everything they really are. So let's go ahead and copy these. And I've already showed you guys uh, in the last tutorials, two tutorials ago, how to um, insert them. So just go to the Drawable folder and go ahead and paste them in. Okay. Now, go to your Resources folder and right-click and go to New. Then you're going to go to Android Resource Directory. Within here, in the Resource Type, go down to Raw. And when you do that, it'll change the directory name already for you to Raw. Click OK. You'll notice that it doesn't pop up right away. So if you minimize all those and then bring it back, you'll see that the Raw folder is back. Go ahead and copy your MP3s paste them in there <clears throat> there we go now we have them all alright so let's create let's do a couple image buttons we haven't done those yet so let's go ahead and put one there let's put one beneath it and a third one there Okay, if we go up to image button one, we need to choose a picture for that. And there it is, there's source here near the bottom. Let's put in ethereal. All right, let's keep on. Actually, let's resize this first. The very top layout width, let's change this to 250 device pixels. And we'll change the height to 150. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to button two. Okay, so if we put this right up against the top, it'll move the others up. Move this one right up against the bottom of that, and just like so. Now, if we go over to layout margin, I'm on the second image here. You can go to top and you put in maybe 15 device pixels and I'll move it away. The same with this guy here, 15 device pixels. There, now they're not touching each other and they're not touching the top or the bottom so it looks a lot nicer. And we don't really need to change the IDs on these because we're not going to be calling the images. However, you probably notice that this one looks a little bit zoomed in. So if we go to the near the very bottom, let me go all the way to the bottom. So, so now you can see scale type right here. We can go center. Center didn't do anything. Let's try center crop. There we go. That changed it. Let's do the same thing for all of these. Scale type, center crop. Scale type, center crop. All right. And I did put in a... Uh, a background image so let's go ahead and pop that in there too let's see background oh there we go background music there we go that looks pretty nice except for I don't really like these white lines here so if you go ahead and click the picture you can find that this has a background as well and here it is let's just change this black background color black background color black there that looks pretty decent all right so let's get coding let's get this music running okay my imports. Import in the view. And then the next one's going to be media. And then media player. It's pretty nice to put it all in there for me. Now we have three different songs. So we're going to create three different objects. Private 
media player and we'll just say um, player one player two player three okay and that should do it for the media players this might not be the best way to do it but since we only have three songs I would say that this is in fact the best way to do it for you know just three songs if you have maybe a thousand songs or unknown amount of songs we might consider uh, creating an entirely different program to do things uh, quite differently but let's go ahead and continue here we need to set these up player one is equal to media player create so we're going to gonna set a song here so context this and then our resource dot raw is our file um, that we created over here and we put in the song let's see what we put first I think it was kinetic let's just double check real quick now nope, this one's kinetic and this one's ethereal and this one's concu uh, concussive so let's go back there we go player two player three and this one's kinetic this one's concussive alright so we have our media players all set up so now we just have to create a few functions so we can run them and what I had in mind was getting um, each of these by their button and then being able to click them so just creating simple on click methods within uh, the XML so let's say hmm, public void um, play ETH -E -E real okay and this will be view v and we'll just put in view just because when we hit enter it goes there anyways let's create the other methods real quick um, play kinetic and play concussive okay so let's continue on let's go ahead and write one of these the first thing that we want to do is we want to set an if statement we want to say hey if um, if player one is already playing just pause it that way so if you click on let's go back so I can show you if you click on this picture I want it to start playing music if I click on it again I want it to stop playing music so let's go back and let's make that code happen if player one um, is playing player one dot pause else player one uh, start and that's as simple as it is so let's copy this code and let's just enter that in here and in here as well except for this is obviously player two right and we'll save it so now if it's playing it'll pause and if it's already paused it'll start playing and of course there are other methods that uh, say player one dot there's a reset so if we wanted to reset the song we could do that however the way that we're programming it now it's going to pause and then just restart from where it was going and Uh, let's see there is in fact one more thing I'd like to do if you hold down the alt button and then press insert 
we're going to put in an override method. And let's go ahead and sort these. And we're looking for on pause. L-M-N-O-P, on pause. Okay, so basically what happens is if we're playing our music and the song is going, we press the back button, the entire application will pause. However, the music will keep on playing. So in order to fix that issue, we need to say player1.release. And then once we do that, it's kind of like destroying an object. There is no more player1 uh, media player object. However, if you come back into the application that's on create, it's recreated. So there's no issue there. So we're going to release the rest of them too. Okay. Now if we go back to our XML text file, Android on click, and then we'll set them up correctly to do their correct music. All right, there we are. Let's go back to the design. And of course, Material of Dark is the coolest, so that's the finishing touch. All right, so I'm going to pause the video for just a second so I can load up my emulator. I forgot to do that before I started this project. All right, and here's the emulator. So let's go ahead and play one of these. We can click it again to pause it, and I click this one. Click it again to pause it. There's only one flaw in the programming that we have. It takes just a little while to do it. It's actually not going to take too long. However, I just wanted to show you guys that you can actually play all of these at the same time if you wanted to. So basically, you would have to... Well, let me show you that they all play first at the same time. Yeah, that's enough of that. All right, so if we were to go back to our code, we'd basically have to say if player one is playing, we can pause it, but we'd have to create some other if statements saying that if player one or player two or player three is playing, then we have to pause that specific player. If you try pausing a player that is not running, you will get an error and the application will close. So for example, you can't just say, um, you can't go to the, you know, somewhere and make a new method saying, you know, player one, player two, and then player three pause, and then it may be like start the other one. You can't do that because one of them probably won't be playing. And if you try pausing some that is not playing, like I said, you'll get an error. Well, Let's see, to make this application a little bit better, what we could do is perhaps maybe change the background of one of these image buttons, you know, so that way we know what is playing when it's playing. That way we know which one to pause. So that'd be a cool improvement. Maybe, uh, maybe when you play um, this one, the background, the entire background of the whole screen will turn maybe a purple color blue green color and maybe a red color so there's a lot of improvements that can be made to this simple program but I'll let you guys take it from here alright guys see you later